Oh, but the, uh, the guy died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I stole that joke. What do you know? I still love it. Um, I feel a little disorganized up here because nobody told me Jim Murray could not make it today. So, and also I didn't know that Bill Vargas was going to fill in, but good to have that. Um, so why don't I call up all the guys who are going to be on the panel. Sorry, uh, Jerry didn't invite any ladies, but uh, there are some pretty good female sportscasters around this day and age. By the way, I want to thank you for that uh, sitting and half-hearted ovation that I got. That's my 181st in a row, so, so anyway. Um, so guys, why don't you come on up and um, there's Bill. Hey Roger, why don't you come up also? Oh, I don't need you. Okay. All right, gents. Have you got the um, you got the formats up hand, handed up? Have you got you got one? Have a seat. Well, we'd like to uh, <coughs> welcome everybody here today for our annual sports panel with plenty of material regarding Philadelphia area teams. For those too young to know who I am, my name is Joe Pellegrino. Sports, yeah, I know, I heard that. <laughs> who, what? Sports anchor and a sports director at Channel 6 and sports anchor at Channel 10 as well, plus four years on WIP radio of my own sports talk show, back in the day, as they say. Uh, and that's a 40-year career as sports anchor. I've worked at eight major television stations in seven major markets. And um, I guess that's one reason I'm here. Um, sorry, the girls have to leave there. Something you said. They're on to better and bigger things. First of all, we'll, uh, we'll talk about the Eagles, and we'll talk about the Sixers, the Phillies, the Flyers, all the major teams, Villanova basketball. So let me first introduce our panel. When you attend sports events in this area and the public address announcer's voice sounds familiar, you know you're in the right place. He's been a Phillies PA announcer since 1972 and the Eagles stadium announcer for 29 days until, 29 years until 2016. But his performances also included five World Series, two baseball all-star games, three NFC championship games, and he's the longest tenured PA announcer in Major League Baseball. <coughs> Additionally, he has been the voice of Drexel Basketball, play-by-play -play and PA announcer, executive director and after Big Five, and a member of both the Big Five and the Philadelphia Sports, as well as Pioneer Halls of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice, I call him Dapper Dan Baker. Thank you, Joe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you all please stand as Joe Pellegrino sings our national anthem. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for the check and it never arrived in the mail, so I'm not going to sing. I got to do that at the Sports Writers Dinner, by the way, next Monday night over at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Cherry Hill. So there's an invitation for anybody that wants to go see uh, a really nice dais of big name stars, including. Jay Wright of Villanova, Joe Girardi of the Phillies, and a whole host of other people. All right, uh, from a copy boy, oh, by the way, we didn't, uh, Skip Clayton didn't make it also, sorry. There's another one. Nobody informed me about this, folks. This is called a Jerry Wilkinson production. And, and all I can say is, no, Jerry works very hard at it, but nobody told me there were going to be some no-shows. Is Don Giordano here? No. I was just looking at him. 
There's another one. Yeah, he's probably going to get it. You know, I've always been suspicious of guys who wear bow ties. Like some loan sharks, politicos, and other lawbreakers. But in this case, I might make an exception. Although he's not even wearing one today, but he's a Penn State grad. Oh, I'm sorry. It was, it was hidden by the Sixer jacket. Nice job. Now, they say they put a bow tie on him because he wanted to look sophisticated. Well, he's already sophisticated. That's what he told me. Anyway, he goes by the name of Hurricane. And after a colleague saw footage of him at full stretch holding on to a lamppost during the weather coverage of a big storm, it stuck pretty well. <coughs> He's been a fixture at Channel 10 for years. And what's uh, this to have to do with sports? Well, he plays racquetball, he plays softball, he swims. <laughs> and he's a, a guy that follows our teams. He's a pioneer Hall of Famer, inducted on the same night that I entered the Hall, way back in 2010. I can't believe it's been that long. He's also a heart health advocate, having undergone double bypass surgery in 2012, really? alerting those to never ignore heart symptoms. Our welcome to Glenn Hurricane Schwartz. My main qualification related to sports is that I was actually at the Santa Claus game in 1967, was it? 68. I, I was selling Cokes in the upper deck. <laughs> Did you throw any snowballs? Yeah. No, but I saw them being thrown. Yes, and I was wondering why. <laughs> well, the reason they throw snowballs we're very sophisticated sports fans in this town because the guy dressed up as Santa Claus was so skinny that the Santa Claus uniform drooped all over him. And that was the poorest image of Santa Claus I've ever seen. They could have found the guy 280 to play it much better. But anyway, that's, that's ancient history. Finally, um, well not finally, let's, let's go next. The one that I do have an intro for simply because I'm going to play a game of no-show here. Well, sports director at Channel 6, Action News in the 70s, one of our sound men kept coming into my office, filibustering sports trivia like a gushing oil well. 